Hi there, Titans. Today we're going to be talking about building portals in a Titan web project. And we're going to just look at an overview of what a portal can look like in a Titan web project. Here we have in front of us a portal built for a university, Titan University here. But of course, this can serve any use case, any industry. It does not need to be specific to education at all. Really, any type of portal that you're looking to build, you can do this with Titan web. Now, we have some nice things here like this head, this banner with a video background, some static text, um, and this text can come from Salesforce dynamically or um, can be static on our project. We can have various articles about our university, some articles about the various faculties in our university, and on the bottom here, a nice footer. You can also do things like, let's say, apply for a scholarship, which will bring me to a nice form to fill out. Let's say this is my first time filling out my form. It will ask me to provide details and go through a seven-step process in order to complete my application. You can go back to the home page using the header navigation over here, and you'll notice that I can also access my student portal. Now, this part of the portal is actually secured so that only students with a login will be able to enter the portal. You can see I have my SmartV login page. This is our login mechanism, which allows you to verify your login by a record in Salesforce. So I'm gonna type in an email for a contact in Salesforce. And this will also send me a verification code via email to make sure that this is really me logging in. I'll get this code in my email and that will log me into my student portal. Now you do not have to have a login, but it secures your portal, makes everything a lot more secure and safe, and also lets you have link personal details or details relevant to the end user for the portal. For example, I can now see this student's personal information, and if I want, I can update that information. I can also check out his grades, for the various courses he's taking. And I can even see student activities and I can sign up for a particular activity. And if I check out my activities, I'll see that I'm now signed up for this activity and I can remove that if I no longer want. Head back to the home page here. And as you can see, you can have a full blown portal with parts that are public for everyone to be able to view and parts that are private that only once you log in and you're secure in your portal, you'll be able to see data that's relevant to that end user. And that's how it's done.